Ross. I'm an associate professor in food science at Washington State University. We are in the sensory evaluation facility in the School of Food Science. We're in the preparation area, so this is where it all happens. All the samples get prepared and shipped out to our panelists on the other side. Sensory evaluation is using our senses, so sight, smell, taste, sound, and feel to evaluate or to, to test products. So it might be that we have people come in and we give them samples and we ask them, can you tell the difference between these samples? We might ask them to describe the specific differences. We also have consumer panels where we ask, hey, do you like this sample or not? Would you buy this sample? It really involves using humans as our participants and as our instruments. Um, conducting the sensory evaluation work, we're going to be doing primarily consumer evaluation, so determining whether consumers accept um, stem free or, or stem cherries, also looking at changes in the cherries over time during storage, so looking at how consumers feel about the products. Well, it's a busy day, so um, usually the day before we get the product ready, we clean it, we make sure that it's sorted and cold as appropriate. Um, we have to pre-label all of our plates, um, everything's pre-done ahead of time, so the morning of the panel, we open things up, um, we get samples ready for people, we have to turn on the computers, have those all ready to go, and then um, when people come in, they're able to just kind of be very efficient and, and go directly into the booth and evaluate their samples. There's a wide range. So some people like softer cherries, not as many. More people like a little bit of the firmer cherries. People like the juicy cherries, of course. Um, we did find that the analytical measurements are actually a, a pretty good reflection on people's actual perception. So even if you're not able to conduct a large-scale sensory study by using analytical measurements, you're able to still get an accurate determination of the actual purpose of the cherry. sensory evaluation booth. So we have eight individual booths. Each booth is equipped with its own lighting system so we can use red lights or white lights as needed. Also a computer and then the computer feeds into a mainframe. So all of our ballots are contained on this computer. So people are able to answer all of the questions on here, demographic questions, any questions about the samples. And we have this pass-through system so we just pass the samples through to our panelists who then evaluate them. And the reason why we've got these walls is to prevent any uh, it's called the air of mutual suggestion, so you're not getting influenced by your neighbor's evaluation of the cherries. And we minimize the interaction between the experimenter and the panelist as well, so that we minimize any bias that we can have there.